Well, hello there. Happy Monday. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend and stayed safe and healthy and did some fun things at home. So last week we focused for math on number partners for 10. And this week we're going to be learning about counting on to subtract. All right, counting on to subtract. Here we go. So for today's lesson, we're going to start here. It says use counters. So you could use counters or you could use cubes to do this as well. It, the problem says three red apples and three yellow apples. So we need to show what three plus three equals. So it looks like we're adding here. I have my counters over here. I have the red counters for red apples and yellow counters for the yellow apples. So it says there are three red apples. So one, two, three, and three yellow apples. One, two, three. So I know on the 10 frame there are two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I know in my brain that the first row is full, I see five right here, and I just add one more. So there are six apples in all. So we have six, oh, wrong marker. We have six apples in all. Now for this one, so one of the tools that I used when I was adding was I could use my counters in a 10 frame. For this one, I have a picture. So I drew a picture of a house and I want to know, it says we have two cats and three rabbits. So I want to know how many cats and rabbits live in this house in all. So how many total? So it says two cats, three rabbits. 2 plus 3 equals blank. So we need to figure out what the total is. I know there are two cats, so I'm going to place two cats in the house. One, two, and three rabbits. One, two, three. Now I can count the t to find the total. So two cats. I'm going to put two in my calculator and count on. So we have two, three, four, five. So there are five animals total in that house. Let's move on. Try it. Five children play outside. Three children wear caps. How many do not wear caps? So let's start here. I want to know how many children play outside. It says five children play outside. How many wear caps? Three children wear caps. And the problem is asking me, how many do not wear caps? So I know that in this problem, let's write it on the blanks. So we have blank, blank equals, because we want to figure out what kind of problem this is. What would it be an addition problem or a subtraction problem? So five children play outside, three children wear caps. So if five children play outside, I'm gonna put five in my 10 frame. So count with me, one, two, oh, what's happening? All right, it looks like the 10 frame's not working. So we'll just put, put them down below. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five children are playing. How many wear caps or hats? Three. So let's put three hats on them. One, two, three. How many are not wearing caps? So to write this problem out, we would put five, and three right here. Now we're not adding three to the five, we're taking away three because we know that three are wearing caps. That means two are not wearing caps. So five take away three equals two. Let's try it with the next problem. Five children play outside. 
So that's an important number to know. Five children play outside. How many wear caps? Four. Four children wear caps. The problem's asking, how many do not wear caps? So just like last time, we have our five friends playing outside, but instead of three caps this time, there's four children wearing caps. So the problem that we would write would look like this. Five take away four and how and then the answer for how many are not wearing caps is one. So five take away four is one. Now there are many ways to show a subtraction problem or to solve a subtraction problem. So an example like I did here, what or right here was five take away three equals, and this was a blank. Just like seven take away four equals blank, and they solved the problem. They knew that in their brain, so they could just write it. Now other ways to solve this include using a number line and counting back. So you start with six and they took away two. One, two, and their answer is four. So there's two jumps from where they started and their answer was four. Another way you could solve it is using your fingers. So the way you would solve this problem with using your fingers is you would start with the lower number, six, and they counted on. When they counted on, they put up a finger until they reached the bigger number in this problem, nine, to solve the answer. So when they started with six, they counted seven, eight, nine. And how many fingers were up? Three, so their answer was three. For this one, this person used counters and they were able to cross them out. So the bigger number is five. They have five counters. One, two, three, four, five. They took away three of the counters. How many counters did they have left over? Two, one, two. So their answer was two. So there are many ways to solve a subtraction problem just like there are many ways to solve an addition problem. You can use a number line, you could use your fingers and count on, or you could use counters. You could also, if you just know it in your brain, you could use write it this way. So now it's your turn to practice counting on to subtract. So for today, you have one paper to do. It is in your red folder, so you can grab that and get to work. If you have any questions or your parent has any questions, you can always have them email me or text me. I'm always open and available if they have any questions. I hope you have a great Monday and I miss you very much. See you soon.